All right, we live? I think so. I think we are. Woo. I think so. I think Let's we are. Thing. Yeah, it shows it live. I think so. so. I think we are. All right, yeah, so, uh, I think so. I think hey, everybody. Welcome. It is the Film Nerds again. Uh, we had a lot of fun last time. A lot of people enjoyed this show, so we decided... Hey, let's uh, let's do this as a, as a regular thing. So, um, my name's Nick Whalen. Hello, um, I like watching film and chatting with Garrett and Jared. So, uh, we're gonna welcome them on. Garrett, how's it going, man? Dude, it's going really good. Uh, this is uh, this is gonna be an interesting one for me because, uh, as most people know, there's one of these running backs that I uh, will enjoy watching their film, and the other one. Not so much. So uh, it'll it'll be interesting to see how this all plays out. Now, now, Jared, how about how about your intro? You tell us what we have have deemed this title of this uh, episode, which I thought was amazing. <laughs> yeah, Power Hour. We're going to be watching a couple power backs: AJ Dillon, Zach Moss. So I'm not too high on these guys initially through my uh, first couple rounds of tape. So we'll see if they can uh, sway my opinion at all here. But yeah, I'm really excited to get this one going. Yeah, so one thing to kind of keep in mind, guys, so, um, or gals, uh, whoever's watching this, if you have questions, you have comments, we interact a lot through this. So I'll be looking over here and I'm looking at your chat. We will try and answer those questions if we can. Um, right there, Garrett, the, the goat. goat. See right there, we, we already oh, got great. something going on over there. Um, <laughs> but feel free to ask questions because if it's something you don't understand or you want us to talk further about something, hey, this is this is about interacting with you guys and just talking about film as we see it. This isn't super structured. It's not super, um, you know, formal. We're all learning from each other and we can, you know, learn from you guys and you can learn from us. Definitely. So let's start with Dylan here. Um, what game do you guys want to watch? I guess let's ask the chat. Like, you guys have a game in mind here? Let's see, we got VTech as our options: Louisville, Clemson, Florida State, and Notre Let's Dame. Ville. I have no idea how he did in any of these games, but I, I don't know. I think Louisville seems... was one of his best ones, if I remember. Okay, we can go there. Then we can go either Florida State or Clemson. That would be. <laughs> yeah. C Dog says, "I'm here for two reasons. I know nothing of Zach Moss, and I want to see Garrett lay the smack down on AJ Dillon." <laughs> Man, you're gonna know something about Zach Moss after this. I'll tell you that much. Uh, yeah, he's a good player. Tough schedules. All right, let me uh, turn oh, this Oh, it's down. a Daily Motion one. Yeah, <laughs> it's all right. D does that make us change our – do you want to change it back to a different one? Uh, I, it's a, it's more up to Jared. Are you able to do it as, as easily as Vin? Uh, yeah, than, so than, the no. difference with Daily Motion and Vimeo is, like, the uh, scrubbing. Like, it's harder with the arrow keys. They, they don't give you as much <laughs> flexibility. But uh, – Looks like the quality on this one isn't as great either. No, let's go to another game. All right. Yeah, some idiot probably cut this one out. It's probably you. <laughs> uh, what if, well, I would say either Florida State or Notre Dame will save Clemson last. Yeah, let's go to Notre Dame. All right, let me put this in full screen. Is this one, okay? Cleveland, yeah. It will be yeah. Ohio. Okay. Oh, we got a question about Michael Warren. I see on the side. Actually, go back to uh, one that we did. I think it was one of the first ones. Um, and we actually did uh, do Michael Warren and came away pretty impressed overall. So that would be a good one to go back and watch. I mean, that, I mean, that first play there is, I mean, that's okay. He he carried out the fake, but still recognized the guy and got over there and got a piece of him and passed pro. That's mm -hmm. nice. Can't tell. Yeah, he's got the linebacker here. Come on. There we go. This will give us a better angle. Yeah, that guy disguised that one pretty well. Yeah, he did. He didn't see it. So a lot of times when when that's the when he's an interior, uh, you know, pass protector, most time it's a scan. He's got a scan from one inside backer to the other one. So I'd, I'd say that one tricked him. That was that was, a, that was a good little run there. As much as I as I don't like Dylan, um, yeah, got to go you know, back he, here. He was able to bounce it um, outside that that linebacker, uh, you know, over pursued there, and yeah, uh, he six. took advantage of it. Yep. Yeah. Six. Well, I mean, right there, you can see. I mean that this this 
backer shot the gap and beat that block. So he did a, a quick cut initially after the carry. Yeah, he That's shot the, the gap, and then this guy lost contain. Obviously, he's yep. supposed to be the contain guy. Yep. And then 20 took a poor angle. Yep. It's a good run. Why do you have to do a good run first? I know. Why well, we got to start with a compliment here? Ugh. He actually showed a little better burst to, than I he did. Than I thought he no, had. That was a good run. Mm -hmm. Well, and, I've and seen one miss already. one miss thing in there. Sorry, Jer. One miss thing in there too is that as he bounced outside of that outside contain guy, then he he took a step inside on twenty, and then went back outside, which I think added a little bit of time to help him out. See this. Is run this one in him, full man. speed real quick. It's like he's such a big guy. He's, what, 240, 250? 240 pounds. I want him to move guys a little more than this. And, and that's the thing. You see you see this type of play often. Yes, did he get two or three yards? Yes, that's fine. But, like, on that, break a tackle, lower your shoulder, carry a guy. It's like he just gets tripped up constantly and is just kind of falling forward. Yeah. I mean, this one, I just feel like he didn't read this one well. No. Because you, you get two guys, well, one, one guy who's going to get blocked by the puller and one guy running the hump. And so he's got to see that. Out, that's an outside bounce to me, right? Yep, easily. Appreciate that, Dill. Dill said if uh, we allowed subscriptions on Twitch, he would use his Twitch Prime subscription for us. Oh, hey, Garrett, someone said that. this is your RB1. Is that true? <laughs> uh, if it, Maybe like RB21? Yeah. Uh, um. <laughs> I mean, See what I mean? A guy like that should, like, he got the first down. Yes, third and two, he did his job. But why is he getting pushed back? Like, I, I just don't get at that size, how is he not making more guys hurt for trying to tackle? I, I yep. just don't get it. I'm with you. Yeah. Well, there is six guys on him right here. Sure. But I, I don't know. The, the lack of power for a power back is astounding. Yeah, that's definitely what I've noticed as well so i think it's something to pay attention to while we watch him here yeah, Although, I mean, i'll do a little compliment here garrett that's a nice little subtle jump cut here that didn't take away a ton of momentum yeah what what sure. down was it third down that was third, third, and third down he got, he did the job he did the job i'm not i'm not taking anything away from that but Ooh, look at that backer avoid completely that block that was a great great job Oh, okay. Oh, in, a little jump step with it too. And cut inside. Um, man, we're, we're moving them up our boards, Jared. Yeah. No, we're not. <laughs> FF Arrowhead, appreciate the comment. We do this Wednesday nights at 10:30 p.m. Eastern. I mean, shows pretty good hands here. He does, and that was a good old away from the body catch. Yep. I, mean, I think that's that's about what you should expect on this play. I don't think there's anything else that he could have done here. Yeah. Do you inside he reads these two blocks well? Yeah, he's already field. starting to cut right here. Seeing these mm -hmm. anticipation. Yeah. Settle too wasn't. It was pretty effect efficient. Well, and the thing with him too is it, what we know he struggles when he has to move laterally and stop his momentum and then go again. And no. He, and multiple times he's done the subtle move where he can keep his momentum going forward still which again if you know your weaknesses as a player that's something that you need to keep doing it's like i need to keep this but move in small little angles oh good pad level here for a big guy hmm? it is okay i'll be negative the ball should be in the other hand but you know <laughs> Well, think about it. I'm going to lower my shoulder that has the ball right into the defender. Could easily get popped up by home. Okay, so mm -hmm. tonight's the first night where we're broadcasting live to Twitch, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. And we have, Oh, that's right. We're everywhere today. I forgot yeah, about that. The comments are just rolling in. So oh, wow. if I don't get to you guys, if we don't catch the comment, I apologize. Just ask again. I'm trying to watch tape and answer questions. We have not watched Zach Moss yet. He'll be second. Yep. Someone wants to see us do a, a power hour on big body wide receivers. Colin Johnson, Pittman, Claypool. That could be kind of fun. Oh, vote for it. Uh, when are we doing P Ryan? Uh, hopefully next. 
um, I, another show. I like him. I do too. Maybe we'll do a little I, bonus I, game of P Ryan after these two guys, if everybody's in, up in, for in it. In fact, in fact, P Ryan coming into the season, I ranked him higher than than J.K. Dobbins, which obviously that didn't work out as well. But he was my RB nine entering this season. Uh, I liked him last year as well. All right. Makes the this right. This is exactly cut, right? what you're talking about, Garrett. What's that? This is what you're talking about right here. Yeah, yeah this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Like, you know, a, a guy at 240 pounds. Granted, there are multiple defenders there. That's tough for any player to make. But if if I'm going to say I'm going to draft a 240 pound guy, not because because I'm not drafting him because of his speed, I'm not drafting him because of his elusiveness. I'm drafting him because he can lower the boom and make plays on the goal line or on third down. These are the kind of plays I want to see him make. See, um, this is a tough one. This is a tough right. one. I'm not saying this this should be easy for any player to do, but I'm saying if we're going to say, like, yes, he is this amazing power back, I'm going to rate him at a 9 or a 10 for power, then you want to see him make these types of plays. I, I just think his, his feet go dead after contact. Yeah. You know, he doesn't keep them pumping, nope. and that's that's what he's got to do. I'm sorry, this, this play cracks me up. Just goes airborne hits a wall it's like one of those gifts <laughs> yep. I, and good effort here feet? though I, I like the effort but at 240 pounds why are you leaving your feet yeah i mean looks like his feet got taken out i think Turn he's a guy legs. that he he plays way smaller he likes to play like he's a small back and a big guy's body did he get in it looks like he did yeah he should have got in uh, where the, where's the ref putting the ball? They should have called that a touchdown. It looks like he got him. Glad we waited for the bachelor to end tonight before we went live. Is there a bachelor on tonight? You're welcome. My my I wife said there's an extra it. episode. Oh. So should I add in the tidbit that my best friend was on three of the bachelor shows right now since we have someone that likes that show. <laughs> you have, your best friend was on the bachelor. Yeah, he was on. Uh, he was on the Bachelorette. Bachelor Pad 2 and Bachelor in Paradise. Dang. What? Yeah. Maybe, maybe we'll add that as like, a, I don't know, some teaser at the end at some point, and I'll tell you the details. But There you go. So he, he apparently didn't get in there, did he? Because they, they ran a third down play. No, he line. did not get in. Okay, so we got a pulling. We got two two guys pulling here? Three. Three. Three There's guys. Oh, the I tight end it. was already was center, already in motion. Center pulls, too. Okay. It's like a pin and pull, looks like. And he got caught by the backside guy there. Yeah, 95 but but if you go back, why is he cutting up right there? Yeah, like I don't know why he's pursuit, not taking the outside. Yeah, stay outside longer. This guy misses his block. Watch him shed this. That's a tackle. Misses the down yeah. block. Thank you. Uh, still follow yeah, he needed to turn that outside. Yep. Yeah. Oh, good cut block. There you go. I can respect that. Good cut. He got up and gets, wanted some more, too. Yeah. Yep. Gets right. back up, tries to make, tries to help more. I like it. The film review will be up on YouTube, um, and it'll also be available on Twitch for a replay, too. I think they're up for like 30 days. Good pickup here. Yeah, that's a good yeah, one. Yeah, was a good pickup. Let's see, what were his stats in this game? I should probably look this up beforehand. Look, if he's going to be so, so good in pass pro, he's going to be a third down back, Garrett. How about that? Stop it. <laughs> I mean, he'll be on a roster. Oh, he's going to make a team. He'll get drafted how, in the sixth does, or seventh how round. How does this happen? I mean, he gets nothing on this. Stay outside. Why are you cutting up so quick? Yeah, he's not What's that fast. What's the rush? 240 pound guy one on one with the safety gets zero yards. In Just a not much situation. of a burst. I feel like he's always moving at one speed. So uh, versus Notre Dame, 14 carries for 56 yards, um, one catch for 14 yards. I really saw that one. Wow. Like again, man. Like he goes down like so easy here. I feel like yep. you're 240 pounds. Put your freaking helmet through this guy's chest and go. I mean, he, in my opinion, he should, still should be aiming outside shoulder of, of 64 until there's a gap. Yeah. 
you know, to give yourself a little more room, or at least take on half of a defender instead of a full defender. That was screen. a screen. Yeah, it gets busted up. Yeah. Yeah, I, I very rarely, um, and I've watched I've watched four games of his. Um, I've actually not seen this Notre Dame game, um, but I've watched four games of his. And this is this is the thing right there that I've seen more than once. He he, the first guy that makes contact tends to be the one that brings him down. Now he falls forward, gains two or three yards, but it, it, it's usually he's usually not breaking that first tackle, um, which is which is tough. So here, here's a question. Sea Dog Woke is where do you guys have these two running backs uh, we're doing tonight? Um, where we're we taking them in, in rookie drafts? Realistically, um, I'll have him probably. I need to go back and look. He'll be at like probably 16, 17 for me in, around in, the, in running backs. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't even really consider him taking him unless it's like just the juiciest landing spot until the probably the late third, early fourth. But but even in a juicy landing spot, what's he gonna get you? You think he's actually gonna get it done and learn? I, I don't think level? so. I, don't. I really don't think so. I'm trying not to be super overly negative. He, he's um, blush. But yeah, yeah. He's killing blush. Um, yeah. I think I have him around where, twelve or thirteen right now. Yeah. Um, Zach Moss, I'm significantly higher. Same. I think he's my seventh running back or eighth running back right I now. I think I have him early uh, second round grade right I'll now tell you in what, terms of rookie drafts. Shows a little more Sounds of a about burst right. on this play. Why don't we see this every right, time on this wheel route or swing? Um, and then let's see here. Let's uh, Jeff Roberts. Yeah, these the replays of these are going to be available if you want to watch them. We, we had one last week, too. It was pretty good. Well, that's it for Notre right. Dame. Notre Dame didn't get a lot of carries. Let me look at his stats. Uh, is it games just me or does it seem like he's more suited as a fullback? Yeah, that's what Absolutely. Garrett had said, I think, off air. Um, I think off air, maybe on air. I don't know. It yeah, was off air. He would do Florida State. He had 40 carries versus Florida State, so there would be plenty to watch. Okay. Do we want to waste 40 carries, carries on him? <laughs> well, Seven I mean, minutes. I didn't say we have to watch the whole how, game. What was his, how many yards did he have? Only 165 on 40 carries. So four four point one a carry. Wow. Right. Florida State's not that impressive. He did have three catches in that game for twenty five yards. That was his highest catch total. He only had thirteen catches. Okay, so the so we'll, we'll go back to the beginning. This is the play that we saw already, right? This is that you back two polars pin and pull. Yep. Yeah. Look at so you, I'm, coach. Well, <laughs> let's watch him. Sort Last this time the center room. pulled. This time. Yeah. Well, I, pin, pin and pull is just if the, if you're covered, then you block, and then the other guys will pull. Good. I'm glad you explained that. Even I, have, Nick, you were I talking about that. that today, having a having an episode where we kind of break down some of the the finer technique points of things, um, and some of like the terminology that's used that goes over go over, goes over our head sometimes. Um, I think that would be really valuable. There you go. On his drives his legs this time. Yeah. I mean, I'm okay with this cut. He, he reads that yeah. block well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he really drives his legs a little bit there. Good run. It has Moss as that, the number was one running run. back, according to PFF. Wow. A little subtle move really? here. For Swift, Dobbins, Taylor. Ooh. I got to catch Long. up with these uh, comments here, man. Yeah, that, See, that's pretty nifty right there. That's an initial reaction yeah. to a shooting defender for a big guy. Good balance. Yep. Yep. And he actually he put his hand on the ground, which I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Stay on his feet. That was that was one of the best runs I've seen out Those of him. Those are two good, good runs. Good block, in a row. big boy. That's what I want you to do in a Browns uniform. You don't got to carry the ball. <laughs> if he gets drafted by the Browns, it's gonna be like <laughs> Garrett's gonna be like me when the Bears drafted David Montgomery. Oh, my heart will hurt so bad. Uh huh. Hey, Stefanski he wants Chubb. a fullback. Oh. No, nothing going there. I'd like to see him hit it harder. He's kind of like standing up here. Kind of dancing go. a little bit. Yep. Just go. Let's drag down and then clean up. Here is Dylan. Left side. First down. Steps out. There's a 
Ooh. All right, AJ. Garrett hates yep. to see this play. Hey, I'm I'm being I'm being open minded. I'm being open minded. This this was a really nice run. I mean, Nick, you could run through that right there, right? Yeah, you maybe get, you get here at least. Even with my injured foot, and, I get there. And here, <laughs> and here. So yeah, I, it, it was a clear path, but he 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 made a stiff arm yep. and he kept on his feet. Hopefully, I'm, I hope he run is able to run through every safety that he comes across one on one. He should, but he he doesn't. He doesn't. No, that's the issue. Like even even here, even this one right here, why doesn't he go into him more? Yeah, like he, he, if he, if even if he wins on that stiff arm, he's not going to get through that tackle. Yeah, like so. I mean, lower the shoulder something in there. You know, for me, like this is a big play, obviously for the for the team, but it's not that impressive to me, honestly. Other than the him stiff arming a safety, but he should do that. Well, and you see him. You see him. Look, look at him at the last minute. He's kind of – he's pulling away. He's anticipating contact. He should be the one delivering the contact there. Correct. Especially when you're getting close to the goal line. You run that guy over. There's nobody left. Right. It's, or, it's you and him. Or cut back. That's the one thing I don't like about running backs is when you're just, just running out of bounds right there. Yep. Give, your shot, give yourself a shot. Run that one back. I didn't even get to see that. Was that even him? I didn't see that. Yeah, that's him. So yeah, someone said they would love a one a one on one tutorial episode, terminology and things to look for in different positions. Yeah, that could be fun. Yeah. Ray Ray G said never AJ. Oh Dillon. Ray, <laughs> what up Ray? Never AJ Absolutely. Dillon. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, to be fair, he didn't have a lot of opportunity there, but once again, lower the shoulder, get two yards. Mm -hmm. Right there, that's another one. Right there, he that's got the carry and avoided a, a shooting defender initially. I like that one. That's a great. Watch out! Watch his, how his feet are actually a little bit quicker than you would expect for a guy his size. Yep. Watch how small he gets here too. He, he turns his shoulders to get small to get through there and then cut back out. That's that's pretty nifty right there. Uh, no, we do not always do Florida State. It, it has happened to seem that we've had a lot of Florida State games, whether it's against or, or you know, Cam Akers. So, no, we don't always do Florida State. It just has kind of worked out that way so far. Good cut here. I don't think Zach Moss played against Florida State, so. I think we should be good. Yeah. Inconsistent effort. Yeah, I think that's true. I think he's very inconsistent. I mean, we've had two straight games here where he's looked really good in the beginning. He just kind of wore off at the end. He that was that speed. was 2018. One I need speed. I need to look into his uh, 2019 numbers. But in 2018, I remember he had almost twice as many uh, rushing yards on very similar number of attempts in the first half versus the second half, which is the opposite of what you want in a power back. Yep. You want him tear, uh, tiring out that defense, and you get stronger as the game goes. Yep. So look at that, just nothing. Yep. Goes in a pile. Of it's weird. He's like the opposite of Jerome Bennis. Like, like Jerome would like get more yards when you did no idea, like in a pile. And Dylan like falls apart like a, you know, paper mache. Yeah. Show some, yep. I'd like to see him like be a little more patient on this run. Yeah. Just kind of just runs in there and falls. Yeah. There wasn't, there wasn't much there, but yeah. He, yeah. He's just kind of soft to be honest. Charmin? <laughs> Charmin? <laughs> that took me a second. I was like, wait, is that a is that a Charmin back I'm not aware of? Man. I used to, me and my buddies used to call each other Charmin. So I, here I like that he's going to be shit. physical. He, he initiates, lowers his shoulder. But tell, tell me this. Why does he go inside instead of outside? Well, and even when he lowers right, his shoulder. is there a gap there outside? Just, there is. There absolutely is. But even when he goes inside here, he doesn't – nobody moves. Yeah. Like, he lowers right. the shoulder. But nobody is affected by it. Like, right. how does that happen at 240 pounds? Right. Boop. It's the feet. He just, doesn't move the feet. Nope. He does not drive. Or balance. Contact balance. Yeah. More often than not, he's going down at first contact. Good hole here. Yeah, they do open up a nice hole. Blitzing linebacker gets caught up inside. That's not him. That's him, right? Yeah. Can you go back? 
Okay, now tell me now, and this is just just stop right here, Jared. So this is just in terms of, okay, I have a problem. How do I solve the problem? So he gets through this initial hole, which is nice, and then he has a defender coming on the inside, which is close, and he gets taken down by him. Instead of widening away from this defender, he he goes closer. So and you see, what I'm saying here, this linebacker here. Yep. You can kind of move forward. He he doesn't cut further away from him. Yeah, he should go hump. off of the tight ends. Yeah, butt there. come outside, come outside more. But now watch, he goes inside here. Why not go outside? Yep. Runs into traffic and gets tackled. Now again, that might be the difference of a yard or more. But what are you doing? Like, why? Why do you see defender like? You know down. what? I'm gonna run closer to him. Yeah. Doesn't make sense. Thanks, Keith. The Nugget Monkey said, "Imagine if Dylan was six foot two ten instead." His Body type fights against this play style. Same issue he has with Royce Freeman. I loathe Royce Freeman. I didn't get it. Loathe. I thought you were going to say love at first. No. That threw me for a loop. I like it. No. And a lot of nothing. Nope. Yeah. I, um, just be patient, man. Like he's just running right well, into his. And did he get stopped like, right in his tracks? Like let your blockers block. He did block. by a guy that's getting blocked. You need he yeah. This is a multiple times now. I just seen him. Can I going? Can I just make a, a motion? Yeah. Can, can we just go to Zach Moss at this point? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what more do we need to see on this guy? Let's let's give him till halftime. Let's so, give him till halftime, and, so then we'll, far, and then we'll move on. On this guy. <laughs> What I see him, he has one speed. He's not, doesn't have much burst. He's kind of just same speed the whole time. Not patient. Doesn't let his blocks develop. Um, Pretty soft. Yeah, it's I like, like I don't want to say soft because sometimes he does bring it, but like he. It's not consistent. We'll just say inconsistent. Yeah, I don't know what the word for it is because I don't doesn't think Doesn't drive he's his legs soft. after contact. Yeah. Uh, you, I do agree with you, Nick. His His feet are are impressive for a guy of his size yeah um so i will i will give him that all right here we go oh just slipped. you had to say something about his feet garrett See? i know right this is pussyfoot price here on the like how awesome right. this outside zone. i don't know how that works <laughs> <laughs> well you this know what the amazing. problem is there he tried to cut off his inside foot did he really i didn't even notice that that's why he, he slipped yeah Ooh, hold on. You got slippery there. I'm, yeah. I'm okay with that run. I'm okay with that run. It is run. a good run. Again, he's running into one of his own guys. Good cut it's, here. It zooms so right far there. out. I'm having a hard time catching it. Yeah. See, that's what I want him to do on every play. If he did that on every play, I'd be so much more interested. Right. That was a good hole. Ooh. Ooh. That was a, that was a good run. Back-to-back. -back. He has shown good pad level for... His size. So right there, that I mean, that's what he needs to do. Put a he put the shoulder into that 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 interior defender, whether it was a safety or not, which put him back on balance yep. to to get through the other one. Yep. You know, whether that's intentional or not, I, I hope it was intentional because that was that was well done. That was that was a very nice run. Ray G said, "So where do you take him in rookie drafts? Because he's going to get drafted." Warren, Josh Kelly, or AJ? I'm taking both Warren and Josh Kelly before AJ. Uh, uh. Easily Warren for sure. Easily Kelly, Warren. I need to do more work on. Same. Kelly looked he looked quick in the Senior Bowl though. He's. I think he slimmed down because I watched some of his earlier games in the season versus his his Senior Bowl. He didn't like his body style was looking more Eddie Lacy like than anything else early in the season. He looked like he lost some weight in the, uh, by by Senior Bowl time. Can I just say this? Why would we take any of them in a rookie draft? <laughs> I'm okay with Warren. I like Warren. Yeah, I like Warren too. Were you on here? When we we're watching Warren. I, Way I think I think Nick. Warren is a is a discount is a discount Zach Moss. They have very similar play styles. I mean, this is such an ugly run. Dude. I mean, I'm just thinking of fantasy football impact. I think a lot of times we waste so much time on guys that aren't athletic enough, aren't going to have the impact. 
if they do, it's an injury. It's going to be for maybe a couple of games. It's going to be lucky, you know, sure. versus a guy that could actually hit. A.J. Dillon has how much of a chance of being an RB2? Oh, less than 3%. Right. So then why would we ever draft him? No. I Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm not trying to be I'm mean. drafting I'm receivers and tight ends at that point. Right. So he's a guy I think that's going to be on a team. And if a guy, the only reason I would draft him is if he's going to be on a team and he gets drafted and the guy in front of him gets hurt, then he has a path path to relevancy for a short time and I could sell him off or something to a sucker. But So it's like Warren, I don't think is quick twitch enough. So like well, what's but what is Warren? the big difference? Because we'll, we'll, we'll be watching Moss in a second. I honestly genuinely don't see too much of a difference between him and Zach Moss. Ooh. They seem very, very similar to me. All right. Maybe I need more work on Warren. I haven't done a ton of him yet, but. Okay. Go back and watch the, go back. Because I don't think you were on that night. I think that was the one that, that Ray hopped on with us. Yeah, so. I think it was. Yeah, it was Ray. So go back and watch that one because, well, I mean, in all those games are in the film room. So I guess you don't even have to look at the Twitch stream, but. Um, Good oof. tackle here. That was a good tackle. Look like Ray G out on the sideline. <laughs> Said he liked the hit. All right, you guys want to go to Moss? Please. Yep. Okay. I've seen enough of this cat. Any uh, game in particular? Do you want to bring up? Um, uh... I remember. I remember yeah, his game versus stuff. UCLA. Um, we don't have the UCLA game in here. We don't have that one. Uh, BYU is the first game of the season. Um, yeah, I'll look, I'll his game against Cal was pretty good, too. Okay, what do we want to know in terms of stats, in terms of his games? See, we got I, I just BYU, want to see BYU, Cal, Washington, Oregon, or Texas. He had a game. Zach Moss had a game where he had, like, six rushes for, like, like 180 yards or something like that this season. No, he didn't. Um, I don't. I don't. Yes, he. Yes, he did. No, he. He didn't have six. No, I'm looking at it right now. He had six yeah. for twenty against U, U, USC. Uh, okay, so BYU twenty nine for one eighty seven and a touch. Mm. Um, who's the other ones? Here we got. That's daily Cal. motion. Cal is seventeen for one fifteen and two. I told you, Oregon wow. State five rushes for hundred and twenty one yards and two touchdowns. Let's do. Six. Let's do Cal. Huh? Stop, stop it! Stop it! <laughs> all right cal all right cal actually if i remember correctly they actually had a pretty decent defense this season oh so yeah cal wasn't as good he only averaged uh oh never mind. cal was 6.8 washington that was another option right that was 3.7 yards per carry 27 for 100 okay yeah in this game he also has three receptions for 89 which is nice so yeah, he had a nice big long catch in this game. All right, Zach Moss, let's go. I might have done this. All right, he that. sucks. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, who did this? Thanks for cut nothing. Off? I'll say, I think I did. This looks like yeah, Garrett look quality. At it though. I mean, backside lineman gets beat here. 77, you can see, and to the inside. And there's a backer screams in there. Yeah. Yeah, he hits, the, he hits it. He hits it hard, too. Look at this. Uh, explosion into the hole rather than what we just watched you know he just hits in gets it well as, as me and garrett have said before your job as a running back is to get three yards no matter what and i think he got that right there well, that's when he up. almost gets a there's almost a safety on this play Ooh. yeah what happened here i mean there was nothing there oh, no. but but he gets he gets caught up quick and pulled back he barely got the ball across the line Well, that right there, I mean, it looked like a gap play, but he um, went bounced too far outside, you know, near the goal line there. I don't mind this cut. I mean, it's pretty crowded. I remember there. that, Ray. I remember that happening. He, he missed, like, the last, like, three or four games of the season because he tore ACL, and it was literally, like, from getting off the couch. Was it his ACL or his meniscus? Oh, here we go. Oh, it might have been his meniscus. Oh, yeah, this was the big pass play. I'll take Ray's word for it. Well, thrown behind him, adjust to catch, which is nice. Yep, and so, then shows shows a little bit of wheels. 
And if you want to go back and you watch this whole thing, the issue I have with him is he has a short stride length. He does. He doesn't drive his knee as, as much. He doesn't extend. And you can see that a bunch of short little strides. You must hate Kylan Hill, then. Uh, <laughs> hey, man, I just say how it is. That's what he has. That's, that's the issue with his speed. Picks his knees up pretty well, though. Do you, yeah, I don't, do you I don't think he'll get? He drives it as much. Do you think he'll get in the four fives or no? Do you think he'll be oh, in the four sixes? Chance. That's what I think too. I think he'll be in the four sixes. Yep. You know when you just watch those guys that are sprinters, you just see those knees pop, pop, picking up, yep. ninety degrees. Yeah. See, and that's what I mean. That he doesn't drive the knee all the way. It's not, you know, and that helps with stride length. Yeah, you can always tell guys that like know how to run. Running, running's a skill. A skill I never had. That, he said that ACL, that's rough luck. Getting off the couch. That run did look hard. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, he was probably on oxygen after that. Oh, here he is. Nah, he wants that tutty. Ooh. Now, see, what I liked about this one is look how he got small through this hole. Yep, good vision too. Well, it wasn't big, but he got he got small to squeeze through. Why didn't he continue outside here though? Got hit. Oh the oh that was a terrible block by the tight end. Yeah. Okay, I missed that originally. I was I was trying to figure out why. Okay. Mm. Lower that pad level. Wow. Yep. That's what that's... you want to. That's what AJ Dillon needs to do. Yes. That right there. Exactly. Now, what I like the most about, though, is that he sets it up by stepping outside to yep. set up some of those and then drives through. Just and then lowers right that here. pad level. That was really good pad level. Yep. Keeps driving the legs through the pile. Dude, he, he runs completely over 96. Look at, watch, 96. <laughs> he just runs now, over his own. Now he's getting blocked, too, but just, just literally like pancakes around. him. A D lineman. Power oh, hour right there. Yeah, that is power hour. <laughs> uh, and then he gets taken down right here. Like, yep. Wasn't anticipating that. No, that I thought tackle he, at all. Yeah, I thought he had better contact balance there. Yeah, I thought he would anticipate this guy coming off, but you're not always gonna be amazing though either. So. Yeah. But here, you know, what's he? Where's he supposed to go? I would say outside of that defender, which is where you want. That, see, so like right there, good. Is, can you go back from the start there, Jerry? Mm -hmm. So, so good decision here to bounce outside because that puller didn't get any room in there. So he bounces outside, and then he cuts back inside and gets small. Watch him get small here. You know, turns his body a little bit. It's less for him to hit, and got through. And that's when he's at his best is when he gets north and north and south. You know, when he's trying to do some of this stuff outside and you know, he he's he's not he's not very agile. So when he can do one cut and go, that's really when he's at his best. And that's when I really like watching Zach Moss. There's a there. couple games you'll see where he tries to do too much and it's 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 very underwhelming. But when he can get north and south, um, that's when he's at his best. Nice little cut. I like that. Can you go back to the start? I want to see where his original hole was supposed to be here. Or is it a design bounce? Hmm. I mean, look at that lane yeah, right there. Yeah, Hold on. Because it... <laughs> I mean, that's a lane. Go to the so, right. The wide... That looks like a lane. Oh, this is designed to go out. I think it, it looks is like designed it to go out. Because this wide receiver yeah. is obviously trying to seal. Oh, yeah, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I know you're right. So here, why he's like, why run him over? Why not go left of this guy? I don't know that he had enough time there. He's like, I got a meeting, one on one, me and you, right here. I, mean, I like you ran with authority, but I would just rather he cut left, take on half the defender instead of run him completely over. Do you guys have kinda, a comp for him? Flipping over top of him. Somebody Michael said Warren. Kareem Hunt. <laughs> uh, no, I haven't copped him to anybody. Um, I don't. I don't think he's not as much I, of an athlete. I don't think as Kareem Hunt. Correct. Correct. What um, about a Zach Stacy? 
Oh, I haven't heard that name in a while. I like Zach. I can, see, I can see some Zach Stacy. You got these mm. names in your back pocket. <laughs> I've been doing this for years, man. And I know. You just see the same guys. Did you, know, you say the other you, day? You went Trey Mason. Are you yeah. a big fan of the uh, the, the Rams backfield? Hey, I like Gurley too. And I like Daryl Henderson. Go. So, yeah, maybe I am <laughs> biased. And Malcolm Brown. And Malcolm Brown. If you wear a Rams jersey, I like you. Yeah. My boy, Blue. Run that one back. I totally missed his blitz pick up there. Yeah, he didn't attack. I didn't like that. Come on, go meet him more. Go meet him yep. more and be aggressive. Yep, he just kind of waited for him. You know, I mean, he didn't set a base. He could have got ran over there, in my opinion. Yeah, if the guy would have lowered his shoulder. Mm -hmm. Not a great route. Nope, didn't sell anything inside. Nope, just kind of rounded it. So this looks like that play from before, where it's a design bounce. That's a Look nice at run. him run through traffic. It is a nice run. He's got, he's got good fundamentals. You, you know, there, there's a thing where, and people I think get this wrong often, where they go to the combine and these underwear Olympics, and they look at the times and the jumps and the spins and the whatever, and they mm. care about right. But you know, Zach Moss is going to go there. He's not going to test well. No. But what he does is he uses all of his athletic gifts in tough situations with defenders all around him. Right here, he's using all of that burst with people all around him, and he doesn't care. That That's football. That matters. But you're going to have other guys that are A.J. Dillon who could test way better than him sure. that aren't going to do that. That, that. That's the film stuff that matters, is when you can use those athletic gifts to the best of the ability on the field. And in that pass run, you saw – ooh, that's not good. Um, no. Is that him? Uh, I don't think that's No, him. that wasn't him. That no. was a wide receiver. Uh, he was blocking. But okay. you, I like seeing guys able to use moves in succession too. It's not just like one move and then I got tackled. You saw the stiff arm. You saw him cut back inside. You saw him lower the shoulder. Moves in succession. That's going to offer up more opportunities to make bigger plays. Ooh, did he just drop that? that? Yep, dropped it. Good. Now, again, that's tough. There's a guy on him. I think he threw it. And it was a lower too. throw. Yeah. But what I do like here, if you look, no, it wasn't he, that bad of a throw. Actually. He was going to block 44, then let him go. So I kind of like at least the attempt there. See, I like that one. He he initially was going to go way outside, realized he wasn't going to get that, and just cut inside. And he's going to be tough man and got what he needed. Four three, yards. Four. Yeah. Yep. Five. You'll have a job if you can get four or five yards. Where do you think he is? What round do you think he gets drafted? I, I've been, I've been four. projecting him third. I, I was saying four. 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 Because I mean, the thing is, I know people are gonna get real excited. I, I might be a little too high on him an early second, but he's a replaceable back. Yeah. I like him, but he's replaceable, just like Zach Stacy was replaceable. Look at that cut back. He just seems to be efficient. Like he knows when to get yep. north and south. It's fundamental. Well, and the awareness there to realize where the defender was, because he, he could have easily bounced that outside to cut in, because he saw everything around him. Saw that he had a, a blocker right there. He gained way more yardage, probably mm -hmm. seven, eight, nine yards more than he would have had he tried to take that outside. You know who else? I kind of I don't know if it's is a great comp or not, but a little Monte Ball. Or he's he's gonna be on you know I can, average I, below average I athlete, see. just really efficient with his movements. I liked Monty a lot out of college. I know people didn't, but I did. I didn't get a chance to really watch him um, in this type of capacity. Gotcha. Um, so not, not as physical as as Moss, but oh, that was draft genius that said Kareem Hunt. Oh my boy, my boy DG. Are they re-signing Cream Hunt? Uh, he's a restricted free agent. <coughs> yeah, but so, I, mean, they get, I mean, someone else uh, could sign him. The GM today, uh, today, uh, um, they came out and said uh, they they want both of the guys, and they were talking about him and OBJ. They want both of the guys uh, back, but they are concerned with some of their off the field stuff. Yeah. So, like like well, this right worth. here. What I love is when he cuts and then he dips his shoulder in, and they show it on the replay when they get close here. Like that, it's gonna be small when you just that little right here. Yeah, but go go to the next. They show it from a, a close up angle. 
the next TV. And you can just see like that little movement right here. Mm -hmm. That could be the difference. Yep. With the, that hand getting in there and then pulling him down. I mean, it's, he does a lot of small things I really like. Uh, Todd uh, just mentioned Moss is neat and Dylan is sloppy. I agree with that. Yep. Um, you can tell he's a much more heady runner. He knows what he's doing. Uh, Nick, you say it a lot um, where, you know, it feels like he actually has a plan for what's going on. Right. Um, you know, where Dylan, it, it doesn't feel that way. Moss is a solid running back. I mean, it's clear from watching Dylan to Moss who's the better running back. We did that last right. week too. Although people are going to be mad about Cam Akers. They watched that one. All right. I moved Clyde Edwards Hilaire above Cam Akers. My man. <laughs> You've been dropping him like a my man. Something that drops fast. Couldn't think of it that quick. See, okay, <laughs> love this. Watch him come inside here, set up that block, and then come back outside, which adds additional yardage. That's just smart running. Yep. Because 24 would have stayed outside a lot more if he didn't dip inside, in my opinion. Yep, that was a real good run. Gosh, that's exactly how you do it. So he comes in. Nope, see ya. Gosh. That's why didn't the Bears have him instead of David Montgomery? <laughs> well, Moss could have come out. He chose not to. I honestly uh, thought him and, and uh, Keyshawn Vaughn were going to come out. Maybe I cannot one believe one Vaughn went back. After that bowl game, why would he go back to school? I don't, I don't know why. Like, honestly, he would have been – in the pre-draft process, he probably would have been my RB2, to be honest, last year. Oh, I don't uh yeah, or one. I mean he's you would have put there. him over Jacobs last year? I don't think I was I not huge that. on Jacobs. Oh really? See, I was small really sample high on Jacobs. Size, small sample size, injured. Um, I didn't see the feet as much. It's a good run here. I, I, I'm still baffled why the Raiders don't utilize his best best attribute more, which is him yeah. in the receiving game. Yeah. Well in space. Cardinals He's good Ooh, in between bre attacks. Breaking news on Sleeper just now. Cardinals expected to release David Johnson. Wow. I have oh. those Kenyon Drake shares. Whoa. I mean, dude. It, he looked That's what bad. they should do. He yeah. looks real bad. He looks yeah. so slow. That's sad. I'm so glad I traded him. I traded him mid-season in a deal to Ooh. get Juju. I like this nice. run. Kept enough balance there to get That's in his zone, best too. run so far. Well, stopped Whoop. in his tracks. This is, the, this is the step back I think someone else set on here. This reminds me of a little Cam Akers in the backfield here. Oh, Whoop. come on. I'm mean, such a Cam hater. He is. Said where, where do you have Cam ranked? Would you have Moss over him? No. Okay. I'm telling you what. Just because just Cam's a better athlete, but in terms of a running back, Moss runs circles around Cam. Hmm. I think I'd rather have Cam, though. The sure. ceiling's higher. The floor is lower. Yes. Man, I can watch but this I can get 10 Moss times way later in drafts. So, you know, it's a price point thing for me. Yeah. Good run. What a run. Good run. That was a great run. Yeah. Good one to All end right. on that one. What? We got right. one more that we want to get in for him, or yeah. All right, so you tell me which one. So we got what? We got. So Texas was sixteen for fifty-seven, three point six yards per carry. Oregon nineteen for one thirteen, five point nine yards per carry, four receptions, fifty-seven and a touch. Oregon, it is Washington. right. Washington, sure if you want to. Washington. Yeah, we don't have Oregon State twenty-four yards a carry that game. We'd have been in and out <laughs> quick. Five. Ooh, this carries. is a long one. We get I think I did can. this cut. Yeah, that's why it's. No, nah, that's why it's smooth. Hey, sorry about old crappy computer. <laughs> that's why we got me doing the stream. That uh, is absolutely true. Just such a smooth player. Like, mm -hmm. very efficient. He doesn't look like he's ever freaked out. He's confident with everything he's doing. You know, some players you can see them literally panic. He has no panic to it. Like right here, okay, guys are close. I'll get a little small. I mean, you can see it there, right by the, right there. Yep, I'll right get more back. yardage afterwards. Like, but this is also what you get with a guy that's got a big sample size. You know what I mean? He's got a lot of carries. He's been doing this. He knows what to do.
Yeah, same same route as before. Yeah, he's although not gonna. Although I mean, that he... one's zone, I think that's fine. He can he's catch the ball. Out. He's just not gonna create any separation. No. Uh, why? Go back. Why? Why is he outside that block? Inside that block, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. oh there's a there's a huge hole right there. Yeah. What are you doing? You can see seven was defeated. Mm -hmm. Still looks like you might have got it though. Yeah, Let's see. Oh, this will be a better angle. I'm gonna put my glasses on. Right there. Yeah. Oh, there was such a seam there. He missed it. Yep. Fourth and one. Redeeming. Same no. thing. What are you doing, bouncing so much? That didn't look good. Move him down. Move Undraftable. Him down. Move him. Guys, we officially love AJ Dillon more than Zach Moss. Well, I mean, look at that right there. I guess you can see all gaps are filled here. Uh, but that would, yeah, yeah. Still on 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 fourth and one. Died more. Yep. I should have drank some coffee. Wow. I don't think this is Moss. Yeah. No, that wasn't. Damn it, Jared. Oh, well, look at that right there. Go back. Yeah, yeah. Go back at that pass pro. That was bad. He did. Yeah, he got back. pushed he right got pushed into him. Back. You know what? He doesn't, he doesn't, he's very uh, up and down. Like, he yeah. needs to lower his butt, mm -hmm. and he needs to be able to shoot those arms into him and actually have a good punch. He doesn't. He is way too, yeah. uh, way too vertical there. We, we call it sinking the ass, right, Garrett? That's what you there call you it. Go. He's That's not right. sinking. <laughs> yep. There's no base there. There's no, you gotta, gotta get those hips down. That is the, that is the terminology, everybody, if you're wondering. I'm not official. Yeah. Kevin David's asking, is there more of these? Yes, this is the second one. We did one last week, right? This is only yep. two. So yeah, yeah. we, we did. Every week. I think there's, I think there's one that we have that is posted from the week before. Um, and that was the Michael Warren one. And, uh, Keyshawn Vaughn. Was there? Is there any more on you there? You want a Keyshawn Vaughn without me, Garrett? I, I think him. you I couldn't make you. it that night. You said nope. He said yeah, probably. Nope. I'm too good for y'all. Now you definitely need to go back and watch yeah, Vaughn yeah. and Michael. Ooh, Warren. look at that spin. Uh, is the one that you you and Nick did before I could get on? Is that one on here too, Jared or no? I don't know. Just go to the video library. They're all in there. That's a nice okay, spin Jared, move right there. That's very as a fair of you. <laughs> I don't know. Good Ooh, right. he just bounced back. Quarterback getting into the blocking action. That was a good cutback, but I got to give his quarterback right, a lot of credit to play here. Uh, well, I like that. I like that he was patient behind the line of scrimmage to allow this to happen. He's wow. here to see the cutback here. Just. Yeah. Yeah, but he no, it's not there yet. Not there yet. He's not gonna go into that defender to get tackled. He's gonna wait wow. and then cuts back. To even know or do that. It's crazy to me. Instincts. Now I would have liked him to go more inside there. Again, as you think he looped that around too far? Well to to give himself well, as he's running here, to give himself more of an angle to break that tackle. He added more yards after contact with that stiff arm near the sideline, but if he's inside more, he might have a chance to completely break it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just like with Dylan, this is better than Dylan, but not as, you know. He could cut all the way back inside, potentially. You know. Try to yeah, he looked like he was just slowing down, running out of gas there. Right. Like I'm okay with this much for the run. This is all I got. <laughs> I mean, there's probably some truth to that. He ain't little. Nice draw in there, Jared. What? I'm kidding. Like, you're drawing the route combination. Oh. Uh, Ooh, good vision making there. Fun of good me vision. I didn't, I didn't cut that. No, good vision. Now, again, I, I wish you broke that, but... I do think he has very good vision. I think that's one of his best attributes. Mm-hmm. We'll spin. Didn't, what didn't are you help doing? Much, Go back. Go back to his decision making here. Okay. Got two pullers. Seal. Why isn't he going outside? What are you doing? I have no idea. 
Can you not? Can you not get outside of that? He's starting to spin already. Uh, I think he already planted his outside foot when he realized. Oh. Huh. Like if he would jump, like, if you I don't think he jump, sees it right now. Oh, uh, if you jump cut out, you know what I mean, or right. back even, I think you would get there. All right, let's see. That was a much better blitz pick up there. I still waiting a little bit for for my taste, um, but he he turns his head, sees him, engages has a lower base and wider legs. He His legs have been a little kind of close together there, so much wider base. I like that blitz pickup. How good is that kid going to be um, from Oregon, number five here? What's his name? Ah, shit. Defensive end. I don't know. Oh, I've, I've heard people talk about him. For, for a guy that played defense in college, I, I, should, uh, He's a stud. I should pay more attention to the, the defensive side of the ball, but... I barely have enough time to keep up with all the offensive stuff. He'll be a top I think he five could have ran over Moss there again, out. but he just tried to avoid him. So. Mm -hmm. Eight up there. What happened here? No block in like there. He just gave up on that run. Yeah, I want to watch it from here. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing there. Oh, yeah, there's not a lot out there. Nice. Look at that. It's three defenders, one blocker. Where are you going? <laughs> yeah. I didn't see the guy at his ankles either. That's tough. All right. I didn't Thanks for showing cut. us this play fake, Jared. I no, did not. Wide open. This is not my cut. Whatever, Jared. I don't play games like that. You were taking credit for the great quality before. You know. <laughs> nah, for real, I think it is mine. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. He's a quarterback. He wants to see all the pass plays. <laughs> so this is fourth and two, right? I don't think giving the ball there. Oh, Moss, stay with the block. Come on, man. Good run. Good cut to get inside here. Well, it's subtle. Yeah. Out in. Man, that's that's vision. That's you know, there there's something to being able to cut at any moment too. You know what I mean? And being under control. And he does that. Some backs they can't cut because they're out of control or they're not anticipating things. Now let me get let me ask you guys this because you know, I am I think I would be pretty close to consensus. I think most people have them probably around seven or eight. Um, one of the things that's been a concern for some people, and it, it would be a concern of mine as well, is he explosive enough to succeed at the next level? Do you think? Because off of you know, off of um, you know, contact and you know, the long speed downfield, like there's just not a lot of like oomph there. Do you think that's going to be a problem at the next level, or do you think his vision, his processing? will be enough to get him through to still be a competent back. Tell me what you want though. Like what's a competent back? What's enough? Like what are you, what's the expectation? Could, could could he step into a role and be RB, you know, 20 in the NFL? Will he will he ever be able to be an RB2? Is there enough explosion there to make him an RB2 or is it only I'm going to be a committee back or a backup running back? That's, you know, because because what we need to know is do we should we waste our time taking him or, you know, should we pivot to I'm going to take, um, you know, I'm trying to think guys in the same range, uh, Brian Edwards, I'm going to take, um, you know, the first tight end off the board, Cole Komet, I'm going to take, you know, should should there be a pivot or do you think there's enough there to actually get him a role in the NFL? Now, see, I think this is an important conversation about expectations of players and ceilings and floors because he has a high floor and i think he could be someone in the in the chat action uh said he went similar to cj anderson i think that's a great I could like see that he could have a season or a stretch but back up like yeah like that could be like his path in the nfl and so many people are like oh best back he'll be you know rb1 like he's never going to be an rb1 I don't he know. can go to Kansas City, so and he's not going to be an RB1. Mm -hmm. I don't think. I think he could be in Kansas City and not be an RB1. It's definitely possible. I mean, the sheer passing volume could be enough in PPR leagues to potentially get him there if he had the job to himself. But um, I mean, he'd have I, to I think get that's highly 60 unlikely. receptions. Right, right, exactly. And, and that's 
in that offense. If you're the only back, you you could just on sheer volume. Alone. Is it good pick up there? Is it now with Mahomes? maybe not? Maybe, you know what? Maybe not. Mahomes. That's a different offense with him. I think. Yeah. With yeah. Ty maybe not. With, yeah. I don't know. I just Travis Kelsey. So so that's that's the question then is right. should we waste our time then on drafting him in the early second round because that's probably where you're going to have to take him. Or is it better then to just pivot and say, you know what, I'm going to take one of the better receivers. I'm going to take the top tight end. Or maybe even at that point, I know that's kind of high in one QB leagues, but start looking at Joe Burrow and Tua right. versus right. taking Zach Moss. Yeah. Um, that's a good question, Garrett. That's a really good question. Um, I, I feel better about him than I do a lot of other running backs in his range. Okay. I just think the ceiling's lower. I. I mean, landing spot's going to matter a lot, obviously. For sure, um, with all these I, running backs. I would think like he's one of those players that you take if you are thin at running back and you have a good team. He's a guy that you take because you're like, you know what? He'll get me some points. He'll have a role in the NFL. He, he's a guy that's not going to crash or burn, in my opinion. Oh, Kane's on here. Kane, you missed our A.J. Dillon breakdown, buddy. Poor man's A.J. Dillon. See, I he think he's actually – He's going to end up going later in the second than we're talking about right now. Probably. Because he's going to drop after the combine. Like, we yep. know he's not going to test well. And then Probably I'm like Probably fourth it. round, third, fourth round. There's going to be... Oh, and I would absolutely take a chance there on the upside of what if the guy in front of him gets hurt. He'd be competent enough to hold the role, I think, for a season or so. Yeah. Um, what would you guys think if later on in the draft... The Baltimore Ravens are like, ah, we'd like somebody to uh, to play the Mark Ingram, Ingram role. Maybe not quite as good as Mark Ingram, obviously. Do you think he would be a good fit in a, in a situation like that? Oh, yeah. Yes. I, I would love that 100%. landing spot for him personally. Yeah. Me too. I mean, and, and, and just like you said, an injury and then step in. That's exactly what perfectly. Zach Stacy was. Zach yep. Stacy had one great – like, that's, that's Moss. Yep. You, you know it's not going to be RB1 top season, but it will be, you know – High and RB2 yeah. is the ceiling there. Him and, I think him and Justice Hill would be a nice complement to each other and utilize both those guys in, in that type of offense. Hey, don't, don't forget Gus Edwards had a pretty good year, too. People forget he actually him. did. He did. The Gus bus. Yeah. One thing with Moss, too, I've noticed, like, the, the first guy usually is not going to take him down. I, I'm with you, uh, the only I deal. I want Justice Hill as well. I love. I, I like that kid. I don't. Yeah, and I don't, to, uh, you I don't, don't like Justin Hill. Running back. He's an athlete more than a running back, He's I think. Yeah, but in that offense, if they were able to utilize him well. Wait, you could say about any offense. Yeah, but he, he's built for speed, and that offense is built for speed. Like, if you if you run more option sets with him and Justice Hill, it would be it would be nice. Or, speed option? Yeah. Okay, it can't be a read. How do you like this pickup here, Garrett? Why not? Uh, hold Justice on. Hill's uh, going A gap or B. Right, right. Well, you could even run triple option with him and uh, with him Gus and Bus. Uh, Gus Bus in the backfield, or you know, if they were to draft, um, if they were to draft Zach Moss. Um, sorry, I missed the blitz pickup. Was it a good one? It was a good one. Yeah, he threw. He got he got leverage up on our room, sank his ass, and threw his hands. That's what I like to hear. Look at you using the terminology, Jared. <laughs> Proud of you. Make a, make a running back out of you yet. Yeah. Oh, Gus is a free agent. Uh, I don't know. Uh, hit him. Come on. Oh, there you go. No. Justice Hill and Zach Moss, an off-brand Kamara Ingram. No, they're not. They're not nearly they're talented enough. People do not want to tackle this dude. He's strong, man. Good hands too. That means well, you blast it. Yep, behind yeah. him. He's a solid player. Now, now hold on. If you go, what I like about this, you can show from this angle. He leans in for that contact. He yeah. he sold he sold that blocking too there. He knows how to use his body. Watch him come in here. In. Oh, oh wow, wow. Who's, who did this cut up? I think it just it cut off on its own, man. No. <laughs> you, you chose that. That was Jay. CBS, bro. It. Or ABC. Yeah, but I just like that. That's that's a good use of knowing your body and mm -hmm. basically physics. I'm going to cut inside because I can do more contact. Another guy who's good at that is Dobbins. He understands yeah, how to is. use his body like that. 
that's the nice part is it, he <laughs> is very competent in the passing game. Um, he can catch. You know, it's not like, you know, which it's helps not like, floor. oh, crap. Exactly. It's not like, oh, crap, we can only use him on first and second down. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's got to work on this pass blocking. You know, it's, it's underwhelming. He, now he didn't i don't think he avoided him all the way because he thought he could just do that and that would be enough i think yeah. he overestimated his tackle breaking here tell me if i'm wrong oh, that's my guess no i think you're right he's like ah oh, this would be enough and then he'll continue on his path and it wasn't wow what a play by 97 though. right Dusty, um, I'm, I'm seeing your, your question here. Um, I would I would add a couple other players to that list. Um, I would add um, Clyde Edwards-Alaire. Uh, I would add Keyshawn Vaughn um, to that list. But, yes, it, it does take a step down as far as guys that we think are have a legitimate shot at being regular contributors for a team, which is pretty normal. In most years, you got about two to four or five backs that you think could be legitimate contributors for a long stretch of time on a team and then everybody else is just kind of situation they might get lucky things might bounce the right way so that's what I'm thinking I think there's about six guys in this class that I feel comf comfortable saying that there's going to be you know extended time as as a starting running back or at least you know one of the lead backs in a committee and then after that yeah it is kind of a crap shoot and so you know you you want to take guys especially later on in the second round with you know the the potential and and that's where landing spot and stuff plays a much bigger um bigger factor in all of this so that's why it's nice in these rookie drafts to be able to get the running backs early and then you can focus on building you know those those wide receivers those tight ends those quarterbacks later on in the draft and and that would be the hardest part for me to draft a jerry judy a cd land yeah go back jared in the top i'm sorry five. i can't i i'm trying to tell them where to stop but Gary, you're on a roll here but i'm sorry i got, I, I got I, a point go I, back I, more I, go yeah. back more I'm answering the question too long, but but that's why I'd have a problem, a harder time. Okay. okay, so I mean this this looks great. I mean it was you know wide open. I'll stop here. Whoop. Okay, I got you. Cut inside. I know what you're talking about. Yep. <laughs> Cut inside. I saw because you, you can you can read it. Give yourself a shot at much more yardage here. Like it, that's what bothers me about some backs. It's like, well, this is a good enough play, but I want more because he goes inside here. Then it's him one on one against six. Okay, I like his odds there. Yeah, and I it's agree. at least maybe five more yards. Or, it drives or me nuts when I see that stuff, man. Yep, yep. So yeah, I'm glad you knew what I was going to go on that. Yeah, one, yeah. I was like, sorry, Garrett. I just, I was like, God, Garrett, shut up. Oh, you're... no, just kidding. <laughs> you want to go? I know where you live, bro. Uh, I know, right? So I mean, but those are the little things. Those little things. That's what Arian Foster was amazing at. He utilized space yeah. and his balance and cutting ability so well for a guy that was not extremely athletic are you taking the kids with you to mexico garrett nope just the wife and i so the the, the girls are going to stay at uh you know a combination of, of each of our parents house so yeah it'll be it'll Congrats. be pretty nice yeah a little vacation with the boo it'll be fun i'm not gonna lie i'm pretty excited yeah dude i would be man you guys doing like resort? a resort yeah yeah it's the uh the hard rocket and revere maya cool is it like all inclusive? Ooh, yes. Oh. Steak every night. <laughs> I've done an all inclusive one time, and it was like the best, man. Just like, dude, it's so good. Not have to worry about anything. Our wife and I, my wife and I, like we we like are planned out like all of this stuff, and we plan like because it's like it's it's all taken care of. So we planned like early dinner and late dinner. So we'll go to like one place at like four thirty. And then we'll hit up another place at like 9 30. We're That's like, awesome. it's only like five or six days. So we are taking advantage of all of it. No, see, I like his body control here. He, he's adjusting, caught it, and then he almost breaks his tackle, but adds more yardage. And that's just based on effort and balance and some of his power. Yeah. Great catch here in traffic. Here. Yep. Yep. Turn it around. So we catches have a good it, question here, guys. Kind of um, spins. The Nugget Monkey asks. How important is long speed, breakaway speed to your evaluation? What is more valuable to your grading, short area quickness or breakaway speed? 
short or short area. short area. Yeah, you don't get absolutely. the long speed without the short area. You yeah. know what I mean? So I think the short area matters more. That's why that's why I like Moss. You know, but you can look at some of these other guys. Like we we really like Clyde Edwards Hilaire. His long speed's not going to be there probably. Mm -hmm, no. Uh, but the amount of times that you can have long speed in some huge plays uh, in the NFL, they're, they're small. That Jordan Howard has a career. He's not yep. fast. Yeah. But yep. short area, can cut well. I think he has really good vision. It's underrated. And there's a career there. Right. And I can yep. see why he's asking that question because it's clear when you watch Zach Moss that he's one of those guys that has very good short area quickness, not so good long speed. <clears throat> God, what's number five's name, man? It's driving me nuts. Babineau? See, that was I a lot of say really Babineau, good but I don't know. That run, run that back real quick. Sorry, Jared. I'm good. I love right here. You can tell, like, there, there are times where it's – it's so crucial when a guy does his job and runs the play as it's designed, comes right off of the left butt cheek of the tackle there, gets that first down. If he widens that any more than he did there, he he's going to he's he's not gonna get that first down. He gets that first down and then some. That's because fifty six feet of that block. Thibodeau, there. thank you. Paul. I said Babino. I don't know where I was getting Babino from. Is that, is that French? There's bees in there. Quarterback wanted none of that. Yeah. <laughs> nope. See, he's waiting there. Attack. Yep. And honestly, his base is actually a little bit too wide there. Yeah, Garrett, you're sitting next to Zach Moss in the film room right now. What are you telling him as a coach? Yeah, his his base is too wide there. He's gonna lose balance. He needs to he needs to uh, get his right there. It's good, but watch as he goes a little bit. Uh, he engages. It goes even wider, and that's that's where you're gonna start losing balance. And you don't have that good base underneath you. You have to think of it a lot in terms of how you're squatting. Like if you are going to do a workout, and you're gonna squat. You want your you want your legs just slightly wider than your shoulders, right? And then you're wanting to get as deep as possible. You're wanting to do the same thing on a run block. you got to get those hips down low. And that allows you to be able to get up and punch right underneath the shoulder pads there. And you push those shoulder pads up right into their neck. That is, that's what you're aiming for, right in those numbers there. Um, so he engaged okay once he got there, but he waited for him. And he was, he was too wide in that process. I, I mean, I, and I also like him to aim inside number. Mm -hmm. Good catch because again, man. If he if he beats him outside, he can push him outside outside of the quarterback, and quarterback can step up. So that's another small thing that uh, I'm sure he'll get corrected. And that is the nice part is that that can be taught. You know, it's not the end of the world, but you'd like to see him be a little more efficient in that at this Gosh, level, especially like for a senior course. running back. Me too. Me too. Oh. I, mean, I mean, sorry, Gary. I mean, he adjusted well there, and then he just like go back. Go back to this first guy he makes miss. Is that him right there? Yeah. Like, like it's such a confident cut. He's like, I know I got this guy. Okay, who's the next guy? You know, it's just like AJ Dillon would never do that. No. Like, he's like hoping he can make a guy miss. This is like, okay. Too. Yep. And, and on, a, on a crucial play, third and 21. Okay. Oh, one, you're done. Okay. Oh, zoo. And then getting tackled. He's great at making the tackle tough. You know, like he moves his body just slightly to make it a tough tackle. And he has the strength to break to break those arm tackles. I don't really have a spot on my tape sheet for like body usage, but if I did, he would be like a nine. Sounds like we might need to add it, Jay. <laughs> Just keep the show PG. Didn't you just update your model like Jared, today? Just, What'd you say? It doesn't sound right when you say it that way. Keep it PG, the show. Come on. Body usage? Yeah. This is a family show. He's a though. nine on the body usage. It just sounds <laughs> wrong, man. <laughs> there you go. He's got Snuck better out. hands than I thought he did. 
God, he's yeah, got he does. Fight too. I like that fight. He does. Yeah, there's a flag on that one. Back it up. Waiting again. Waiting again. A little more fight in the block. So who? Someone earlier said PFF had him where? RB one. RB one. No. But he's good. Mm, That's like for sure. Him. I like him. After watching this, I like him more than I did initially. I will say that. Um, he's an efficient runner, uses his body well, can catch the ball. Needs to work on his pass blocking for sure, but he's a great in-between-the-tackles runner. Now, now tell me this. Is he even close to topping Cam Akers for you guys? No. Um, he is one of the most efficient – um, between the tackles runners, I would say him and him and Jonathan Taylor both do that very well. Um, they're very efficient between the tackles. I really, I really genuinely worry if there will be enough burst, enough juice to be able to make plays consistently at the next level where it would be valuable to your fantasy team. Um, you know, and, and, and that's where that's the lens that we're looking at this through is, you know, how is this going to be valuable for your fantasy team? You know, I think, you know, ceiling for him is, you know, if he can get in the right situation and a guy in front of him gets hurt, then he's going to have a chance um, to do something. But even then, you know, I don't see any of these, you know, 20 carries for 150 yards type games at the next level. It's going to be, you know, he'll be a four yards a carry guy. He'll, he'll do all right in the passing game if he's able, if he, if they allow him to do it, I think he'll do all right in the passing game. But I just don't, I just don't know if there's enough of a ceiling there where right you know cam Akers, i think just has such a higher ceiling that I, I don't i don't have them in the same tier but his floor is so low so Akers high, or mean? yeah oh acres yeah it's a it's a lower floor than See, I, maybe anybody anybody in the top five right. yeah i guess um, i have him a little higher as far as his floor i i just i like him more well, what about what about uh, a different comp? Uh, what about a poor version? So again, it would be a lesser athlete of like a Doug Martin for Moss. Because mm -hmm. Martin was like a, was like what a four four nine. Yeah, yeah. I think Martin was a little bit more elusive. To, um, okay. Let's open up. Uh, uh, I mean, body type is different. I get it. I'm just saying. Sure. You know, like in terms yeah, of I, like. I get what you're saying though. Let's do a little Q and A here. Does anybody have questions or anything like that? Um, it looks like Dynasty God. That's Here Boz. What's answer. up, Boz? Uh, Zach Moss or Keyshawn Vaughn? I already know Garrett's answer. For oh, me, Keyshawn it's, Vaughn. Yeah, oh. for me, Keyshawn Vaughn as well. Oh. Keyshawn Vaughn is. Watch how high boys. do you have Vaughn? How high? How high do you have Vaughn? Me? I, I have him six. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know right now. I, I mean, I, I like he's a he's ahead of. I might have him ahead of Acres. I might actually have him ahead of Jonathan Taylor. Ooh. I'm not high on Jonathan Taylor, though. I know you're not. <clears throat> I think. Hey, how, how much longer are we going here? Uh, we're about we'll to cut it. Through. I was just going to do some Q&A, but Nick, okay. did you want to talk about your Debbie report that you're doing? Oh, Debbie report. <laughs> uh, yeah, so working on. Actually, I'll be, I think right now I'm working on the graduates more than the Debbie report. So. Uh, people don't know graduates is going to be like these guys. So exactly what we're doing in terms of a publication um, realm. And then I'll pop out the dev report. So yeah, both of those are rocking and rolling, cr crushing through them when I get uh, time. Cool. Cool. Anybody have any other questions for us? We're about to call it a night here. So we got another one that just rolled in. I don't know if you saw it. Dusty McGee says the draft network comps Moss to Kareem Hunt. Do you guys see that at all? A little. Uh, I think Hunt's a better athlete. Uh, mm -hmm. But I like – I see where they're going with it. Play style. And, and I think he's a similar size. Um, yeah. uh, I, I do think as, as, much as, as much as Moss impressed in the passing game tonight, I do think Kareem Hunt's a better receiver um, than Moss is. Um, and I think he's more elusive. Um, but, I mean, if you wanted to say, like, Moss is a poor man's cream hunt that I can yeah. live with that. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And we touched on that a little bit earlier, actually, too. Well, if you well, guys haven't done it yet, um, hit the heart, 
think it's up in the left hand corner, right hand corner on Twitch. I know that we're streaming out to Facebook, Twitter, and everything like that too, uh, YouTube. So make sure you subscribe. You'll get alerted when we go live. Appreciate everybody coming on and checking us out and hanging out. You guys have anything else you want to say? Uh, no, I'll, uh, I'm, I'm hoping to be back in time next week to hop on. I think I should be fine. Um, I'm, I'm probably missing the nerds podcast this week, but I think I should be back. We get back on Tuesday. So I think I should be good to go for next week. So, uh, I'm excited to see who we pick next week or who you all pick actually. Uh, cause there's still a lot of good options out there. Or if we're even going to stay in the same position, maybe, maybe it'll get switched up. Doubt it, but maybe. <laughs> Yeah, thanks guys for tuning in. Uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. Again, this is it's cool learning from other people and seeing how they watch film. And uh, yeah, I think we should have a, a one on one where we just kind of talk about things that we look for and blocking schemes. I think that would be pretty helpful. So, yep. Yep. All right, guys. Thank you. Um, appreciate everybody dropping in. And until next time, we out.